Hello everyone, it's Christmas Eve so I'm feeling quite festive today um, but this video is going to be focusing on a new product by Babyliss uh, called the Root Boost which I'm sure you've seen on the TV, read about in the magazines, it's like a mini crimper. Um, now I've been trying to get in touch with Babyliss for weeks now to try and get hold of one of these for them to send uh, to me so that I could review. Um, Basically following on from the massive success I've had of the views for the Babyliss Big Hair, the sort of air drying barrel brush product that gives loads of volume to your hair, which is fantastic and loads of people I know have gone and bought one due to watching my how to tutorial. So I was hoping that Babyliss would send me a root boost but they haven't. And uh, as Christmas is coming up and the party season and everything, I was just desperate to try it. Um, quite cheap, £30, but when I saw it on offer um, in Argos and also Boots and a lot of other places at the moment are selling £5 off. So for £25 I thought it, I'll guess it is a present from me to me as a little treat. Um, so I just wanted to talk to you about it really because you've probably seen mini crimpers around uh, lately. Um, crimping your hair was massive as everyone knows in the 80s, like crimping the whole of your hair and then it went out. Um, I think mid 90s the likes of like Britney and Christina and stuff used to do odd crimps, um, sort of odd sections of their hair crimps and stuff. Um, but it's it's not really been in fashion and when I first started to see these come back in store um, I wondered sort of why they were so slim, didn't really know much about them and was thinking, my first instinct was that crimp was coming back in, but it isn't. Um, this is a way that hairdressers have found uh, and put to the high street, which is great, um, of basically adding volume to your hair. Um, it's a really, really simple way. I tried it for the first time yesterday. I can guarantee that the hold lasts, the volume lasts, more so than when you use products on your hair, which naturally just deteriorate over the course of the day and evening. Um, so it is fantastic product. Even though they didn't send me it for free, um, I, I really can't complain about this product, it's fantastic. So um, you turn it on, there's a little button here and you've got a temperature option of low which is 140, medium which is 170 degrees and then we've got the highest which I've got it on at 200 just because the heat helps it. Uh, crimp faster. So you switch it on and um, because I'm so used to using GHDs I was expecting a little bleep to let me know that it was ready. Didn't happen obviously. Um, that would be a nice little feature if they ever relaunch this. Um, so you, you've just got to wait. I've waited a total of five minutes so it doesn't heat up too fast um, but you can you can feel it. The only problem that I have found with this so far is that the ends that you do hold <laughs> You don't have to, but sometimes it helps to hold them ridiculously hot, so you'd be really careful not to burn yourself, and especially when you're going close to the roots, as I'll show you, just be really, really careful, everyone. We don't want any burns. Um, so you section off your hair. My hair's just been straightened, basically, nothing fancy, and I've sectioned off uh, hair. So I've done the first layer so you can see the effects of what it looks like. It looks messy, but that's fine, because the idea is that the sort of very very top layer of your hair will cover everything okay so this is what it looks like I'm going to show you how I do it Um, I've got a section sort of that big at either side and one at the back the same size too and this is two lots of crimping Um, it doesn't have to be perfect there's a little little gap I've had there can you see and um, it feels really odd so it sticks out straight away as you can see Um. It feels kind of like wire wool, which sounds awful. My hair is really, really soft um, and feels well conditioned and stuff. But this, I think because the crimps are so, so tiny, I don't know if you can see that. It's so thin um, that it just makes it feel really wiry. Um, but I guess the tighter the crimp, the more volume you're going to get and the longer it'll last. Okay, so I'm going to take the rest of my hair down so you can see the first layer, if you like. And I'm going to do side by side so you can see as well. So the look we're going for is ruffled volume, the usual look that I like to go for. Um, so when I feel it, I can feel that the, the volume is there in that section. And you can see because this bit here hasn't got any, 
um, and you can you can see a sort of bump in your hair. So you want to, the idea is to get it all the same. So if I had time and I was going like to a party or something, I'd do as many layers as I can. But I'm just going to do two for this video so you can see. So again, I've just sectioned off a little bit of my hair. So I'll do this side first. Remember, it hasn't got to be perfect. So I'm going to pull my hair to either side, okay? Then a brush, I'm just going to get probably about that much. And then I tend to just give it a brush through. So then you get in the crimpers and you go in as close to the root as you can. Remember, this is really, really hot. So be careful. I'm squeezing it like so and I'm also pressing the ends to squeeze it really hard it doesn't say how long you leave it in your hair for I'm trying to leave it as long as I dare without damaging my hair too much okay and then you let go so hopefully you can see that it's done it now it says to do two but as I'm quite close to the top layer I don't want it to look sort of really obvious and square I just want a little lift so I'm just going to do one by two I basically mean I'll show you for the effects of the video sorry you just do one immediately underneath so the crimps you've got a tiny can you see with my hair being so black oh there you can see a bit there look okay so that's the first bit. Remember, it's quite a messy look. It hasn't got to be perfect because this will be hidden by your hair. Once your hair's all down, you won't notice any of this. So you needn't worry. So I'm just going to do one there. Looks really odd. I know. My boyfriend was fascinated with this. As he is with everything I try. So you just sort of hold it. I think product features that would improve it not getting so hot so you can hold it and also a little bleep like a timer for when how long you should leave it on for that would be helpful so it's really simple you can like I say you can do loads or just a little bit of volume like I'm only doing a little bit today I'm just off to the families for Christmas Eve um, nibbles and drinks so it's nothing you know, major, but you can see it sort of lifted it all up. I'm hoping you can see that. Um, so then I'll let this bit down. And then I'll just sort of give my hair a shake. I can feel where they are. Um, so it gives an overall volume because it's, it's kind of just lifting everything up. Um, I'll do one at the back, I think. So I'm going to get a, a really, really thin bit and clip that away because I want this little bit here to be crimped. So I've got the look of volume at the base. So I'm just going to squeeze that out quite close to the root. I'll turn around and hopefully you can see. I'm not sure if you can. <laughs> I'm hoping you can see that. This is a problem when you've got jet black hair. It's hard to see, but at least it's shiny, hey? Okay, so that feels really, really nice actually. It's, it feels like it's giving me a lot of volume. I'm not sure how it looks. So then I'd just finish it with a lot of spray. Um, I've, like I said, I've done it really subtle, but you can add as many different crimps like if you bear in mind I've only done one two three about six little sections you can do the whole head uh, you can just do the top like that I'll just turn around and hope you can see so hopefully you can see that it is an improvement um, so yeah it's, I hope this has been of some use I can show you more um, I could maybe do another one where I do half without any and another half with. Um, I just feel like I can feel the difference and I can see the difference here but I just feel as though you may not be able to be getting the picture. Let me just do another.
when you're pressing it, you kind of hold your hair out. You can do it flat, I guess, as well, but... So you can see it's got like a square, almost. And then you just make sure that the top layer's always covering it. Obviously, you don't want it to be seen. There you go. So you can even see now, hopefully, that that bit where I've just added the volume is different to there. You can see that it's just lifted it. So you just keep playing around, like I said, because it's hidden, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't really matter, no one's going to see it. It does feel very odd though, that's the only thing I'll say, it feels really wiry and... But it washes out really easily, obviously, because it's just heat, heat generated and... So I hope this video has been of some use. Anyone who's got one, it'd be great to hear your... Uh, your views on whether you like it or not and how you've got on with it and what you make of it so but I hope it's been of some use to you and I hope you all have a lovely Christmas um, and get some nice hair products.